Hello traders, FS Pepcoetti here. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd. I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So I still believe that this right here is three ways up for W. I believe it's three ways down for X. I think this is going to be an A, B, C of wave Y, which should take it up and take out these highs, probably at least up to the 178, maybe even the 200% Fibonacci extension level. So let's take a look at it on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think it's very clearly that this right here is a trend. Most likely that trend is a wave A. I believe that this is a three wave correction right here wxy of b and i think that we are in an uptrend right now which i believe is all part of this wave y eventually it probably will make a little bit of a bigger correction but i do think that on this time frame it will continue to make higher highs higher lows and form a nice one two three four five of wave y to form that pattern like i was showing on the monthly time frame so taking it down to the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see very clearly, I believe, that this is a 1-2 and that this is all a wave 3. Now, we don't have any break of structure and we don't have a lower high, so we can't really say for sure the wave 3 is over. And it very easily could go up again. So we do have to keep in mind on the sort of time phase, there is a possibility that it does keep on going up. But looking at correlated pairs across the board, I mean, it does seem pretty likely that we are going to make a correction now for like a wave 4 and then go back up for a wave 5. Then this will be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 1, which is most likely a wave 1 of wave Y to complete that wave Y pattern that I was showing on the weekly and the monthly time frames. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame, it definitely did make three waves down, and like I said, we do have to remember that it could possibly keep drifting up, and since we don't have a break of structure to the downside, our primary purpose should be looking for longs in an uptrend. Now, like I said, looking at all the pairs, I mean, it does kind of seem likely that it would make a bigger correction, possibly go down to one of these lower Fibonacci levels, making a bigger wave four before it actually goes up and makes a wave five, and this would be a three, a four, and a wave five. So, taking it down to the one hour time frame. So if you are trading the very short time frames, like below the one hour time frame, I would definitely be looking for longs until we get some sort of a break of structure like this. If that happens, then I would definitely stop looking for longs and I would start looking for sorts again. Because it does seem pretty likely that this is going to form some sort of an ABC, which will probably be a wave 4. But like I said, we probably should be continuing to look for longs because this has absolutely no proof that the wave 3 is over on the higher time frames and it very easily could just keep drifting up. So until we get some sort of a break of structure to the downside, I think we should primarily be looking for longs on anything below the 1 hour time frame. Or we should be looking for something like this to go sort for the continuation of the downtrend or the continuation of this correction, which is probably a wave 4 on the longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.